Instead of protecting religion, it actually is allowing for discrimination. Yeah, Chris Miller joining us more with uh, this story. Chris, uh, where is the controversy in this bill? Well, both Senator Lee and equality groups both agree that churches' beliefs should be protected. And, of course, that's in the U.S. Constitution. But the controversy here comes from the wording in the bill. One group says it's misleading and dangerous. Senator Mike Lee is looking for congressional support for a bill he introduced in December. He says it protects individuals or religious groups against penalty because they support traditional marriage. In other words, we don't want a church having its tax-exempt status removed simply because it recognizes marriage as a sacred institution between a man and a woman. NFL punter Chris Cluey claims he was dropped by the Vikings last week because of his outspoken support on gay marriage. According to some, Senator Lee's bill could be used as protection for incidents of discrimination. This bill would actually codify and legalize discrimination against gay people in really all spheres of life. Cliff Roski, law professor at the University of Utah and outspoken chairperson of Equality Utah, says Lee's bill allows a lot of latitude because the bill uses person as its language instead of religious institution. According to the bill, this legislation is meant to protect any such person regardless of religious affiliation or lack thereof, and regardless of for-profit or non-profit status. So anyone under any circumstances can raise this defense. Senator Lee is adamant that his bill would only serve as protection for religious beliefs. It doesn't endorse or condone or permit or tolerate discrimination. I should mention, too, there's a companion bill that's now gaining momentum in the House of Representatives. That one was introduced by Raul Labrador. That's a representative for Idaho. Both of these are known as the Marriage and Religious Freedom Act. Mark and Shauna.